Good morning everyone and welcome to episode 17 of Rise and Shine 2016. This of course will be episode 167 overall and this morning's topic will be Aha, yes, rudeness. I don't know why, but here we go. Now, of course, rudeness is a personality trait that people find most annoying. Because, obviously, it has a speaking to them in a certain tone that we wouldn't normally speak to them in. And it's usually people we show the most respect to that we do this. So, uh, let's say... They might ask us to do something, we'll do it. And then they might ask us to do something else. Like say you're in one area of their house and you're putting something away for them and then they want you to go to another area and put something else away. And of course you know you can't be in two places at once. So you say that to them, well that's not being rude, just like saying don't rush me, I'm, I can only do one thing at a time. But then, if you feel like you're being rushed, you might say something to them, like, yeah, give us a minute, hold your horses. Well, we're... we're well, that's still saying, don't rush me, but... Okay, so that's, a not, that's a not an example of rudeness, but... Okay, but this, however, is... Say you're in a classroom, and the teacher is teaching the lesson, and you're off in your own world, not even listening to what the teacher's trying to say, uh, what the teacher's saying to you. You're totally ignoring. Because you don't have to say stuff to be rude to people. You can totally ignore them. Totally ignoring what the teacher's saying. And so... They check if you're paying attention by asking you questions about what they said. And you'd answer by saying stuff completely different to what they were saying. Now come on. Guys, think back to when you were in school, primary or secondary, and you had trouble paying attention to the class. And the teacher would ask you questions about it to make sure you were paying attention. And because you were off in your own world, instead of focusing on reality at the time and paying attention to the lesson, you gave completely different answers. Uh, made up your in, your own interpretation of what the teacher was saying, and then the teacher corrected you by saying that's not what they said at all. They said at all, and then you turn around to them and said, "Whatever." Right there, that tone. That tone is not the tone you should use to speak to a teacher, or anyone. <clears throat> and let's say you're, you're being taught by a teacher that would see it as sarcasm and speak back to you in the same way, making it fun. So... <laughs> Well, we'll talk about sarcasm and another topic, but this is about rudeness. And, uh, well, speaking of rudeness, Kenny here has just demonstrated another form of it. He's interrupting us. Don't you whatever me, young man. Get back over there now. Anyway, guys, 
interruption. Probably one of the worst forms of rudeness. So someone's trying to talk to you. And then you have something you want to say to them. So rather than letting them finish what they're saying, you speak over them. Yeah, come on. We've all done it. And we all still do it. When it happens, it's unavoidable because we might have something important we want to say to the uh, person we're having the conversation with. I mean, say we're trying to talk to someone, and they interrupt us when they want something, when they've got something to say. What do we normally say to them? We say, "Hold on, I was talking. Don't cut across me." Or, "Would you mind not interrupting me and let me finish?" But then say if. They say something straight after you finish talking, and they think they've interrupted us. They say sorry, sorry to in sorry for interrupting. Now, actually, I'm gonna mention this, but usually that would be the case with me and say my best friend Darren. Um, I'd be saying something to him. And straight after I finish, he says something and then says, I didn't mean to interrupt. So which then I turn around to him and say, well, actually, I finished talking when you spoke, so you weren't interrupting. Because normally when you say something, And then you stop, that means for that time, unless you're trying to think of something else to say, you finish talking. Instead of being cut across in mid sentence. Okay, guys, now this will mark the end of this episode and I will see you I will see you tomorrow until then have a good day